Everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero, and today we have got another mystery box from Friday's Comics and Collectibles. Uh, if you haven't already, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner. I do appreciate it. Put our regular content about the hobbies I love the most. Right, now, this is not a new box to the channel. Uh, I've done a couple of other boxes of his on the channel before. I have a few of the books that are still in my PC. Uh, been great value so far, so excited to get into here. No previews before I bought the book. He did do a preview after I bought my box. I think he's got a few of these boxes left. They are $300 each. Um, I'll have his Instagram information down below. Uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right in. All right, let's get started here. First one up is okay. Uh, Ultimate Fallout 4. Um... Now this cover is originally from the New York Comic Con exclusive, but I don't think this is. I think this might be like a uh, facsimile of that cover. Uh, still another reprint of Ultimate Fallout 4. Never unhappy to have that book. Classic cover as well. Next one up, we got. Okay, some old Star Wars. Star Wars number 11. Part in very fine condition. Uh, again, this old Marvel series uh, has definitely been picking up with the Disney Universe uh, projects they've been doing. A lot of these old books are just gaining value, people putting those runs together. Uh, we've got the new Obi-Wan series coming out. hope it's awesome. Uh, no exception on that one. Uh, okay, we've got Phantom Star Killer number one. Uh, not familiar with this particular book. Uh, definitely like a zombie Darth Vader vibe going on there, so can't wait to check that one out. I don't know if it's a one-shot or just the number one, but cool looking book there. Uh, next one up, okay, some Nova here, Nova number six. Uh, another one probably in very fine, or near mint minus condition, pretty sharp. Uh, with the announcement of the Nova Project, a lot of these old Nova books are gaining some heat as well. Luckily, I had just picked up a couple number ones prior to the announcement. Uh, next book up, okay, got some Strange Academy. Strange Academy number five. Um, nice little variant cover there with the Scarlet Witch on there. I don't think five has got any major keys, but this whole series is... Uh, blowing up right now. A lot of spec on the Strange Academy series. I've got a lot of the number ones. I know the big villain right now. His books are going for crazy amounts as well. Uh, okay, we've got Black Panther number eight. We've got Frank Cho cover there. Storm flying around and not even a smile. <laughs> um, there we go on that one there. Very nice cover on that one. Next one up. Oh, some strange tales. This is 136. Uh, I think 135. We're off by one number. Um, is first appearance of the Hydra uh, and Shield, I believe. So this is the the second appearance of Hydra and Shield uh, on this book here. I'm probably saying BG condition. Um, pretty cool little pickup there. Uh, 135 probably would not be in a mystery, $300 mystery box. Uh, what we got here? Um, I do not know. Uh, so we got a Virgin cover here. I'm going to assume that's a, a store exclusive, possibly. Um, let's see here real quick. I can get this out. Uh, Aftershock triple play from December 2021 so like some kind of anthology for projects maybe some uh, spoilers for some projects that are previews from some projects that are coming out here in 2022 uh, next one up okay it's so got some old Thor here 237 another one probably in very fine to near mint minus condition there cool little book there I think we got three more raw books here. Oh, that one's pretty cool here. We got Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth, um, the homage to Silence of the Lambs. Very cool. You got you know, your Deadpool butterfly there in the middle. Pretty sweet little cover there. 
next one up. Oh, okay. I've actually been looking for uh, some copies of this. This is uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, uh, the newsstand, um, first appearance of the spot. Um, looks got a little bit of spec behind it with the his interdimensional powers uh, as a possibility of showing up in the end of the Spider-Verse movie. Just trying to find decent copies at decent prices. Um, obviously, included in a mystery box is a pretty decent price. Uh, probably a very fine copy on this one as well. And the new stand doesn't hurt either. And then last of our raw books before we get to our graded book. And okay, we've got Crimson Rain number three. I think this is a ratio variant too, like 125 or 150. Uh, very awesome cover on the front here. I've actually not been reading the Crimson Rain uh, series. I have number one and I guess number three now, so I may just uh, cruise through. That is an awesome looking Sith Lord on the front right there. Uh, so that takes us out of our, that finishes it up for our raw books. Going into the slab again, uh, we only had the one preview box that he showed. Uh, so I have no idea what this slab could be. I know what this slab isn't uh, based on his preview box. Uh, but I'll try to conceal this. I think we've got, I, have, I don't know, that's, I think it's the front. So let's, oh, it's padded on the inside too. This is gonna be tricky. Uh, we've got the front. So I think we got it open here. So got a postcard. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, very nice. Strange Academy, this is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, big fan of this book. This is the first print too. Uh, you can tell from the red logo, not the blue. Uh, these were in the Walmart packs. Uh, very hard to get those in a 9.8, just do the way that they are stored. And we got it in a 9.8, so very big on this book. The regular cover A's for Strange Academy 1 have just gone absolutely crazy. Um, I think this book will catch up. Uh, not to say that it's not a small book by any means, but I just think compared to a cover A, uh, the number of copies of these on the census and a 9.8 are just dramatically less. Uh, and it's not a later printing of these books. So that is awesome. It's got a young cover. Oh, it's our post is the first print uh, big spec uh, he said he was, honest, he was contemplating keeping this one and that's the way all these go though I mean it's it's hard to let go if you get any of my mystery boxes they are full of books that I purchased thinking that that I would home them forever um, and you know you just don't things changed uh, taste change I'm constantly cultivating and curating my collection if I didn't I'd have a hundred long boxes in my house and my wife probably would have kicked me to the curb so it's just this this constant evolving thing you think you want something and you're gonna hold on to it forever and then you realize hey there there's something else but that's the fun in the hobby is you know getting stuff enjoying it while you have it you know unlike you know regular stocks and bonds and all that stuff where you own something and that couldn't be less interesting uh, and eventually you sell it one day this time you get to enjoy it and it, and it goes from there. So um, again, you'll see the total up here for the, the box. Uh, very happy with the box. I have been with all the ones I've gotten from Fridays. If you haven't checked him out, again, his link will be down below. Uh, again, he's got a couple more in this wave of his $300 boxes, but if you want him to curate a box specifically for your price range and specifically for your likes and dislikes, he can set that up for you as well. Um, but yeah, until next time guys, Hobby Hero, out.